Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, coming at you from Chef's Club Counter in Nolita, the brand new home of one of the most talked about breakfast sandwiches in the entire country. And while it's new to the neighborhood, LA's infamous egg slut is already drawing wraparound lines in Manhattan. And today I'm joined by the man behind the brioche bun. Alvin Kailan is here to talk about what makes the perfect breakfast sandwich. What is the perfect BC in your opinion? Uh, for me, it has to be hot has to have good bread. If the bread's stale or if it sucks, ruins your whole experience. And then obviously gooey egg, you know, nice sauce, good cheese, and bacon. You eat with your eyes first. So for me, breakfast sandwich in the morning to get your day going has to look beautiful. You wanna be like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm gonna get down on that, you know? Today, we're doing a little taste test on some of the most popular breakfast sandwiches on the market. I've been around the breakfast sandwich block a few oh, times. Yeah, you and me both. But we're gonna do a little autopsy on each and every one of these. Let's do it. And then we're gonna hop into the kitchen and make a little egg slut action. Yeah, this is the money right there, that American cheese. As a breakfast sandwich chef, what are its strengths? What are its weaknesses? Well, the strength is, is that it's <laughs> so they put crack in it. <laughs> It's great when you're drunk, and I'm glad that they have it all day now. Thanks. I'm not gonna hate on it too much, because I still love it, still my heart. I'm giving it a solid 4.3 for the price, the consistency. It always delivers on what it promises. I'd say 3.8, 3 for it being great and nostalgia, 8 for it to be like sinful. I always feel like they're trying to do this like high-end artisanal sandwich. Mm -hmm. It always comes out like a mass-produced, kind of crummy, cheap food item that they'd serve on like a Delta flight. And, and that's so. this right here, which is uh, cheddar, not American cheese. So it's just, when you bite into it, it's just dry, right? Like, the, the, at least if you had American cheese, it'd be like kind of soft and gooey. This is one, one five. I would love to have a croissant that is a bun. That's awesome. But it fails everywhere else. I'm a little bit softer. I'm kind of an easy teacher. Right. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2.6 because I do like the bread. Bacon action could use some work. They actually carbs. give you a substantial amount of bacon. That's like three slices. Not bad. All right, next up, we have a bagel breakfast sandwich. It doesn't look like much. Uh-oh, mine's... Yeah, see? <laughs> it's like astronaut food, man. It defies like, gravity. Yeah. And then it has that like canned egg thing where it's like, comes in a can and they just slice it. Nothing sriracha can't fix. That bagel is terrible. I'd say three, five. Maybe it's because I'm a bagel freak and the bacon has some smokiness to it. I'm gonna give it a 3.3. And it has like a certain quality to it where I feel like it doesn't even matter what you order off of their breakfast menu. Like it'll all more or less taste the same and that's kind of what I got from it. See, this is, this is what I'm excited about. So stacking this up, your classic NYC BEC bodega sandwich right yes. here. I can't wait to bite this. Like the egg is like cooked to shit, but it's so good. The ratio is on point. The egg, the cheese, the bacon just cut through the layers. And then you have sort of this like stepped on bread situation. Yeah, it's like perfect amount of bread, enough filling. And too, when you bite through it, I'm getting hints. I'm getting notes of all the other things that they've been cooking on, on that, that grill. Pan. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I'm missing is a mayonnaise packet and me sitting on the curb putting mayonnaise on it and just like. <laughs> I feel like I know where this is going. What are you giving it out of five? Uh, I mean, as close as, I put it 4.8. I'm giving it a solid 4.9, just uptick a little bit to keep my soft teacher thing going. Bodega to bodega, they all seem to right. do it the same way. They all seem to do it right. This is like home. We've had sort of these, you know, little starters, but we need that good good, that first thing in the morning, that hangover cure. Time for an awkward segue to the kitchen.
Well, now me and Alvin are back in the kitchen. We're gonna make the best damn breakfast sandwich you've ever seen in your life with a little menu item Eggs Like calls the Fairfax. It's our boy, it's our sandwich, it's our go-to. It starts off how every best scrambled egg starts, which is a cold pan. Like, no heat, nothing. Grab a couple eggs. Let's see if I can do it a little bit better this time. Oh, our main man Oscar in the back, he's having fun with this. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You don't want to salt it. You just want to leave it like that. Add a little bit of butter. And then this is where you start mixing it. No, again, cold pan. This is like the bamboozlement of it all because people think you add cheese to it or like cream, but it's really just keeping the uh, the butter cold and emulsified in the uh, in the eggs. So when you get it to like this point where it's like some white, we'll go ahead and throw it on the heat. And you notice I haven't seasoned it at all. And the butter hasn't broken from the eggs yet, so it's not like oily. The trick to making really good eggs besides slow and slow and spinning it all the time is if it looks like it's a little undercooked in the pan, it's already done. Hit them with the chives. And chives and eggs, for me, are like the best thing. When you, when you mix it together, it's almost like truffle. I like to take it off the heat so it doesn't continue to cook. These look like some good ass eggs, Al. Yeah, dude. Throw our buns on here. Just a little, just, just a, a little, little quick little you toast want, You just want it to like give. And then once it gives, you have our sriracha mayo. No big again, deal. No big deal. And you throw that bad boy on there. This has no bacon. I can't cross those lines here in New York, man. Like it's bacon, sacred. egg, and cheese is sacred. You leave it as is. It's definitely a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of thing. But we're introducing soft scramble, which some people don't like. They're a little squeamish on it because they've never had it. You're probably thinking, oh man, like that's just gonna fall apart when I eat it. But when you grab the cheese, again, we use cheddar and we just melt little, it. Little action, little, little quick yeah. action. This is like, we call this the finesse. It's like a, a cheese veil, you know, and then that, Believe it or put not, it all on lock. yeah, it keeps it together. Lastly, we grab these caramelized onions, add a little sweetness. How many of these do you think you've made in your life? We do about 40,000 sandwiches a month at, in downtown. And uh, I've done it for the past five, six years. So <laughs> a lot. And then you just lit it. Bam. 40,000 egg sandwiches worth yeah. of practice behind you. I know that I'm in good hands. There it is. Here it is. Very IG friendly. Egg slut, time to take a bite. Mmm, custardy egg. You got that spicy sriracha mayo on it. The bun, perfectly toasted. Breakfast sandwiches, you can't really mess them up. You want an Egg McMuffin? Go get an Egg McMuffin. Right. But you want the real real. You gotta want that good good. You gotta get that hangover cure. That's the egg slot right there. Finesse. It's finesse.